Today we are talking about expanded memory and extended memory in MS-DOS, what the difference is, and when one would be used over the other. What is expanded memory in MS-DOS? In the era of MS-DOS, conventional memory was limited to 640 kilobytes, which posed a significant constraint for running increasingly sophisticated applications. Expanded memory emerged as a clever solution to circumvent this limitation, allowing DOS programs to access additional memory beyond the conventional 640 kilobyte boundary. Expanded memory is a memory management technique called bank switching that allows DOS programs to access more memory than the 640k limit. It works by dividing the upper memory area into pages. Pages of expanded memory can then be swapped in and out of the page frame as needed. This page swapping mechanism enabled DOS programs to access more memory, enhancing their overall performance. Expanded memory was developed in the late 1980s as a way to allow DOS programs to take advantage of the increasing amount of memory that were becoming available in personal computers. It was widely used by many popular DOS programs, including games, databases, and spreadsheets. Expanded memory offered several advantages for DOS users. It allowed DOS programs to handle larger data sets, complex operations, and more advanced graphics, effectively expanding the capabilities of DOS software. Multitasking was also improved by providing more memory for multiple applications allowing users to run several DOS programs simultaneously without significant performance degradation. You would use expanded memory on MS-DOS when you need to run a DOS program that requires more memory than the 640 kilobyte limit. Expanded memory is also useful for running multiple DOS programs at the same time because it allows each program to have its own dedicated memory space. Expanded memory was also compatible with a wide range of popular DOS programs, making it a practical solution for many users, without requiring significant changes to their existing software. Here are some specific examples of when you would use expanded memory. Running a spreadsheet program with a large data set like Lotus 123 or Microsoft Excel. Running a database program with a large number of records like DBase4 or Paradox. Running a word processing program with a large document like WordPerfect or Microsoft Word. Running games like Wing Commander, Doom, or Wolfenstein 3D. Or running multiple DOS programs at the same time. Expanded memory played a crucial role in overcoming the memory limitations of MS-DOS, providing a practical solution for users seeking to run more demanding applications and enhance their overall computing experience. While expanded memory was eventually superseded by extended memory, it remains a significant milestone in the evolution of DOS memory management. What is extended memory in MS-DOS? Extended memory in MS-DOS refers to memory that resides above the first megabyte of address space, a realm of previously inaccessible to conventional DOS programs. Extended memory can be accessed by DOS programs running in protected mode, a more advanced operating mode that enabled direct access to memory beyond the conventional boundary. This allowed for significantly larger memory allocations, enabling DOS programs to handle more complex tasks and utilize advanced features. You would use extended memory on MS-DOS when you need to run a DOS program that requires access to more than one megabyte of memory. Extended memory is also useful for running DOS programs that need to use high-performance devices, such as network adapters and CD-ROM drives. Extended memory is used by DOS programs in a variety of ways, including to store data and code, to create buffers for data that is being transferred between devices, or to load drivers that are too large to fit into conventional memory. This allows DOS programs to use devices such as network adapters and CD-ROM drives. 
Here are some specific examples when you would use extended memory. Running a game with high quality graphics and sound effects. Running a DOS program that uses a high performance device, such as a network adapter or CD-ROM drive. Or running a DOS program that is too large to fit in conventional memory. What is the difference between expanded memory and extended memory in MS-DOS? The main difference between expanded and extended memory in MS-DOS is that expanded memory is emulated within the first one megabyte of address space, while extended memory is physically above the one megabyte address boundary. Expanded memory can be used by DOS programs running in real mode and is accessed through a special page frame, which can slow down performance. Extended memory can only be used by DOS programs running in protected mode. It is typically much faster than expanded memory because it is accessed directly by the processor. It can get confusing when talking about expanded memory and extended memory because the words are very similar. Actually, only two letters are different. Thankfully, the abbreviations are a little easier to tell apart. Expanded memory is abbreviated as EMS. Extended memory is abbreviated as XMS. To enable EMS, we need to load a memory manager. The most common memory manager you'll find is the one included in MS-DOS, called EMM. 386.exe. EMM386 can be loaded from the config sys file with the argument RAM, which specifies a range of segment addresses to be used for upper memory blocks and enables EMS support. If you do not specify a range, EMM386 uses all available adapter space to create upper memory blocks and a page frame for EMS. To enable XMS, use the no EMS argument for EMM386, which provides access to the upper memory area, but prevents access to expanded memory. Using the no EMS argument is a generally good configuration unless you plan on using very old MS-DOS software, in which case you may want to set up a boot menu to easily switch between configurations, or Use a boot disk specifically designed for the software you want to use. There we have it, expanded memory and extended memory in MS-DOS, what the difference is, and when one would be used over the other.